I have seen some rather interesting friendships in my lifetime. I've seen friends that confuses loyalty with their satanic voice and behavior. What I mean is sometimes I see friends who have wronged other people. Their friend knows for sure that they were in the wrong. But instead of saying to their friends that, hey, you are wrong for doing this or you are wrong for doing that, they collude with the friend that has done wrong to avenge that friend's wrong. And that in itself, some confuses that with being a loyal friend. But I'm here this morning to tell you that be a godly friend and not a satanic one. You see, sometimes as friends, we can, whilst trying to support those we love, actually be the voice of destruction to them and be a party to their own demise. We have all had friends who have felt hurt or wronged somewhere by someone. And as they share their trials and pains, we can easily in wanting them to feel our love and support, not be objective with them, and sometimes be in fear that they also may feel hurt or betrayed by us if we don't agree and commiserate with them. And whilst empathy is always a good thing, we must be careful to not unwittingly actually be more destructive than helpful by our support. A true friend will speak the truth in love and won't just take the side of the ones that we say is our friend. So instead of colluding with your friend in his wrongdoing, a true friend will take the prior time to see things from God's vantage point and in love bring the wisdom of God in his counsel to his friend, even if that counsel is costly and difficult for the one that we love to hear, process and endure. Now we must learn from this and always be careful that in our love for our beloved friends, that we don't inadvertently give them support and love in their sin. Instead of finding heaven's lens and having a tough love conversation, which can actually save our friends when they are hurting through their trials. Now in closing, always bring the voice of God to our hurting friends and not the voice of Satan. Yeah, man, a word to the wise.